All right, I'm gonna to try to give you a walk through. There's a spare tire. You can see there's two batteries that are, uh, for the backup, I got the covers in the back of my truck. The two uh, LP gas cylinders, and you can valve them in to uh, either left or right or both, or valve them out. That's the little tube for the sewer connection. And then, of course, there's a gooseneck hitch. On this side, you can see it's got a stainless steel front, four horse trailer. Uh, there's the water connection for city water, and also uh, on the bottom, and then that's how you fill up the water storage tank. I'll show you in a minute. That's the outlet for the water heater on the inside, and this is where the storage cable is for the uh, electric hookup. It's 110, and then uh, the front tack door to go into the front stall, and you can see the stall, the door that goes into the living quarters on the front. Uh, two ties and then fold downs. Let me show the windows. There we go. Been a while since so I opened them. So the windows fold down. They have a they slide open if you want the screen. And then this the cage folds down too is one unit if you want that. crooked hinge I'll fix that a bison stratus express this is the tack you can see there's hooks for the bridles and then a place for four saddles on the back this is the opening to the stalls you can see there's a rear light and the switches are one of those switches is for the stall lights there's lights inside the stall see there's one there and one up front and then uh you see this is the rear rear bay here second horse of course there's these ramp releases third horse and fourth horse and then the door going up front that's the uh, case for the gas grill that goes on the outside of course there's windows down this side and then vents in the roof uh, for ventilation and then this uh if for whatever reason you wanted to do it that petition that separates the uh little tack room there it folds up and comes all the way out if you want to remove it and then it's got its own its own light up there inside the tack room See what to show you on this side other than it needs cleaning up. There's the retractable awning and the new awning for it is still in the box, but it hinges, you've probably seen awnings, but it hinges and, and then comes out over here. Here's the steps going in. There's the outside receptacle and an outside light. And then there's stereo speakers. There's one there and one over here. This, uh, door it's a separate screen door uh, you can see if you just want to have a screen door open or they latch together and then it hooks I don't know how good this video is coming down but it hooks on the bottom so you can close the the whole door and then I wired it to where that receptacle on the outside can go for one of these satellite dishes uh, that you sits on a tripod outside and then uh, you can set your like direct TV or dish network receiver on the inside. And so you can see it's a little entertainment center here with a CD player and it plays. There's roof speakers up here in the roof and there's air conditioning unit and a ventilation unit up here near the kitchen. Uh, like you can see there's where the TV, what I do is I plug the headphone jack from the TV into this entertainment unit so that the TV's playing on the speakers. There's the, uh, in the gooseneck, the uh, 
queen size bed. You can see there's steps that go up to it. This storage is where we usually keep the trash can. Of course, you can put whatever you want to anywhere. There's a place you can put a shelf in there if you wanted to. That's a battery kill switch. So if you want to make sure you're not draining the battery. And then more storage down here. We keep a little shock back down there. Of course, a fire extinguisher right here. Your outside back porch light and the electrical outlet. There's the double stainless steel sink uh, and a two burner stove, gas stove, and a hood and a microwave. You have to be on 110 to run the microwave. Uh, storage up here is where we keep our coffee maker. It's got an electrical outlet in there too if you need it. What did I forget up front? This is. Um, the fold down sofa I was telling you about, but hold on, I'm gonna show you something else. Under here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but is a, I don't know, it's like a 30 gallon, I think, water tank. And it's got a drain valve for you to, makes it easy to winterize. Uh, the other winterization is right there beside the step. I'm not gonna crawl underneath, but there is a, uh, two low point drains that you can drain the whole system uh i lied to you this is the water heater right here on the other side that bin i was showing you was for the heat for the gas heat for inside the cabin and then this bracket right here i can't see for the glare but anyway that bracket's where the gas grill hangs so you can see it's underneath the awning um i'm not sure i hadn't done this in ages but here we go so let me back up where you can see you can see the couch folds real quick you just pick it up and slide it out into essentially a full-size bed let me see yep it goes back in that quick uh refrigerator can run on lp gas or electricity and there's a little switch right here to flip it between one or the other it's uh, about two-thirds or a third the size of a full-size refrigerator. Uh, there's the freezer and there's the refrigerator part of it. This closet's got a place to uh, coat hangers and stuff. Kind of like a little mini wardrobe. And this, we use that for like our pantry down here on the bottom. There is where the heat comes out for the gas heat in the wintertime. And that's a carbon monoxide detector kitchen drawers they kind of lock and uh and then uh underneath this switch here is for the uh turns on the water heater uh for the gas to the water heater and i forgot what else it does the so here's the bathroom there's the door that goes out into the tack room. You see the tile hooks, the toilet, which is a standard RV toilet. Probably needs cleaning up. It's a little breaker panel right here. There's some light on the subject. Of course, the lights pretty much work off the, all the time, the 12 volt lights. There's a, a vent with a fan for ventilation. It's what the shower stall looks like. It's a corner shower stall and again you got hot and cold water with a shower head and a drain that can either run self-contained or off the city water and then it gets a little crowded in here but there's a vanity the sink uh, a little medicine cabinet behind here a regular sink and here's your hot water heater right there it's insulated uh, if you can see that it's a uh, I don't know, I think like a nine gallon tank, but it's plenty enough to do a shower on and it heats up really quick on natural gas. So there's kind of a view of the, from the bathroom, you know, going back up to the front of the, front of the camper. Um, the floor, there's a spongy spot you can see right here. It's really pretty solid, real solid right here where I'm standing. Um. And then the most of all this up here solid. So there's really just one spongy spot right here in this corner. Right there. There's really the only spot. There, there may be a way to actually go in and brace it up. 
and I'll show you right there if you can see that there's a uh, water damage to that little piece of it's a press wood piece of molding and that's really the only water damage in the whole trailer is that one piece of molding you don't know why that is uh, none of the you can see around the baseboards and everything else is in mint condition uh, there's a the mirrors there open up to a cabinet that go into the front of the gooseneck. That's where we just store those decorative pillows. Really is about all we put up there. There's room on either side of the queen size bed. And of course, windows that open on both sides of the bed. This table laying on the bed just matches the countertop. It came with a trailer. Uh, and you, you can set it outside, you know, for a picnic. Or I don't know if, I don't think we've ever tried to set it up inside. We'll usually just sit here at the couch and eat uh this is you can see the pillows and all that's in the curtains and the blinds that's all what came with it that's the you know color coordinated package that came with uh with the trailer um there's the steps you know it's like two steps to go up into the gooseneck uh, i think the pictures i sent you actually showed a little carve out step in there but that's just not the way this one's built and there is cabinet space uh underneath that those steps right there a little bit every little bit helps and then i back up this is kind of the looking back toward the bathroom uh from the from the bedroom area at what the kitchen and all looks like so other than a little spongy spot in the floor, the, the trailer is really like brand new. Everything works. Uh, some of the lights I've changed out to LED lights. Of course, those are cheap. They're just light bulbs. Uh, this right here is a, a speaker. There's one here, uh, one in the bathroom, and then there's one uh, over the bed up here. And like I said, that works real nice to plug your TV into that into the sound system through this auxiliary in jack and uh play your tv over the over the sound system just sounds better um i think that's about all there is to show